Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Kia Sorento. Almost all Sorentos in Russia are all-wheel drive. We do not have many fans of large rear-wheel drive sheds, and such cars were usually brought from the USA in the cheapest trim levels. The rest of the Sorentos are divided into two types, the LX with rigidly connected front axle and the EX with automatic front axle drive. By and large, the designs of these versions differ only in the transfer case. Differences in the type of carbon shafts, crosses, splines, and similar elements do not depend on the type of transmission. And unfortunately, these details often do not match those indicated in the catalogs. When choosing spare parts specifically for the transmission, they most often encounter errors, inaccuracies, unsuccessful translations, and other discrepancies with reality. Unfortunately, the Sorento's drivetrain is not overly reliable. In addition, to the quite expected repairs of carbon shaft crosses, which with normal assembly and maintenance usually serve here within 60-100,000 km, there are still very unpleasant problems with spline joints. All of them are at risk and the splines of the front propeller shaft and CV joints are especially unlucky, and even on machines that are operated only in the city. The source of these problems is common corrosion and lack of suitable lubrication in the joints. The slots just eat up and they start to knock. Well, then the mechanical loads quickly finish off the weakened knot. If everything is in order on your machine, take care of regularly lubricate the splines. Thunder greases do not last long in such a compound, up to a year or until a good bath. For dirt riders, all components require very frequent maintenance. Particular attention should be paid to the front propeller shaft, the intermediate shaft on the front reduction gear and the hub connections. If there are already knocks, only replacement, welding and cutting will help. Sometimes it helps to compress the mating part of the spline joint, which is scalded in a circle and thermal deformation slightly compresses the inside. It helps for a short time, but as an urgent repair, not the worst option. If you see traces of such repairs on the car, then feel free to bargain for the price of new shafts. The CV joint to the intermediate shaft of the front axle is often attached with an additional bolt. Inspect this place more carefully, often the bolt is hidden under a layer of plasticine. It is masked from above with dirt, and you will find out that the connection almost doesn't hold when you get stuck in meter-long mud. Of course, the traces of welding of the CV joint pipe should also lead you to a sad thought. The bearings of the transfer case and gearboxes are also not very reliable. Sometimes, in urban conditions, they serve up to 200-300 thousand mileage. Off-road and with shock leads, the resource is much less and not particularly predictable. On the front gearbox, the first shank bearing turned out to be most vulnerable. In the transfer case, it is mainly the bearings of the output shaft and chain that suffer. In the rear gearbox, the bearing tension is adjusted by tightening the shank nut. For any work with unscrewing it, you will have to readjust and select remote bushings from the desired clearance. The shaft changed several times during the production of the machine, as did other transmission elements, but all modifications are compatible with each other. Most machines have shafts of the 5327 3E500 and 5327-03E600 series. In 2007, they installed non-separable shafts of the 5327 3E800 series. If you take a used shaft, then you should not buy its 500 series. There were weak splines. So we joined on pre-styling machines are capricious, and if you want to install later restyled ones, you can only replace them complete with a hub. The new joints have 26 slots and not 25 as it was before styling. In a transfer case of any type, the lamellar chain becomes the main source of noise. The price of a new part is about 13-15 thousand rubles, and it makes no sense to buy it from this assembly. With the severe wear, it is better to change the chain together with a star and shaft. You will definitely have to change the bearings and the original ones are not very good. If possible, pick up something from SNR, SKF, NTN, Timken or other decent brands. There are many bearings, but you can simply look at the dimensions in the catalog, which fortunately doesn't lie in this part. Handouts with mainly connected full have no other big problems. But with transfer boxes with automatic connection on of the front axle, there are difficulties. Firstly, shaft speed sensors are not reliable and it's better to always have a spare with you. Rear and front sensors are not completely interchangeable and differ in the length of the tail. The tail of the rear sensor is longer, it can also be put in the front shaft. But the other way around won't work. The clutch unit itself costs within 10,000 and is quite reliable, but its drive costs twice as much and fails over time. 
Mileage and age are not as important for the drive as the operating modes and the oil used in the dispenser. It is especially difficult for reckless cars on summer tires on winter. The drive can be disabled in a few hours of sleeping. 4-speed automatic transmissions I seen boxes of the AW3043 LE series. They put them on full, on full and rear-wheel drive cars before styling. But already before styling, a part of the cars could have a Jetco J. R57E box, jointly developed by Mitsubishi Nissan and manufactured by Hyundai Kia. This box is more modern but also based on the classic mechanics of the 4-speed box and is also one of the most reliable. And yet, until the end of the release of Kia Sorento, the box was finalized, the number of modifications of the well bodies is very large, the mechanics were also thoroughly changed. So of the early versions before 2006, restyling are definitely not the best choice. Well, after restyling there was simply no choice. They only installed this box, and if it didn't become as reliable as the ancient iSyn AW3043LE, then not by much. There is no point in talking about iSyn AW3040LE, 3043LE, aka A340, A341, because this automatic transmission doesn't break, and if it does break, it is cheaper to take a contract box. And all you need to do is change the oil and monitor the health of the car cooling system. Contract units are suitable not only from Hyundai, Kia, but also from Mitsubishi and Jeep, and with some alteration from Toyota. But there is, but there is no particular point in bothering with the search for donor cars. There are more than enough original Korean boxes. On older cars, it is worth checking the box for leaks, selector operation, in cold condition, and see how the box behaves on the go. If everything is in order, then the chances are high that if it will outlive the rest of the car. Like many old automatic transmissions, it doesn't like fast switching from D to R mode, and vice versa, and build up, but it takes the load calmly, especially when working with a relatively weak diesel engine. Jetco automatic transmission is more modern, more economical and more dynamic, but it also has some more weaknesses. Here are the resource of the gas turbine locking pads, linear solenoids and the brake band is limited. Also on the machine, there were problems with the valve body and the wear of the old pump affects it much more destructively. And even the slightest traces of oil leaks from the gas turbine seal indicate that the box has serious problems. The wear of the gas turbine lock is very intensive. Already, after 150 to 100,000 runs, it is usually very worn out, and for some racers, it requires replacement even if it runs of less than 100,000. All this suggests that the buyer of the Sorrento with mileage has a very good chance of encountering a repair of a gas turbine engine. Removing only the gas turbine engine is quite simple. The engine is hung out and shifted forward without removing the automatic transmission. In the event of rapid oil contamination and a slight slip of the lock when driving in fifth gear, you will have to go for repairs. Severe oil contamination almost always severely damages the well body and solenoids, which in turn almost immediately leads to damage to the clutches in several packages. When with engines of 3.3 liters and diesel engines of 170 horsepower, there is a risk for the overdrive drum. High mileage boxes are characterized by low high drum wear, which wears off the inner surface of the caliper and leaks pressure, leading to the combustion of the direct package. Automatic transmission requires a very frequent oil change, preferably every 30-40 thousand kilometers or when pollution appears. It would be nice to put an external filter and a large external radiator, otherwise you may encounter wear of the valve plate metal of the valve body. As a result, the Jetco resource is not as stable as that of the old iSense, but with proper operation, the boxes will easily pass 300 400,000 with only the gas turbine engine repaired and possibly cleaning the well body. But negligent owners have every chance of running into problems and expensive repairs up to a mileage of 200,000. There are a lot of engines for the Sorando. The base gasoline 2.4 liter engine of the J4JS series is, is our old friend Mitsubishi 4J64. But in a rare DOHC versions, series to series. This is not to say that the motor is absolutely the same, but most of the main components have remained interchangeable, and the layout and basic solutions are the same. Quite a strong middle piece, although the pal drive of the balancer shaft greatly reduces reliability. The 3.5 J6AU gasoline engine on the Sigma family in Mitsubishi has the designation 6J74 and, has very, and was very popular on large CUV. In terms of the main components, the motors remained compatible, which is very good. Mitsubishi's spare parts turned out to be an order of magnitude better, and the resource of crankshaft liners and piston rings is many times higher. 
Yes, the timing belts with rollers and a tensioner on Mitsubishi are better. The 3.3 liter J6 DB engine is Hyundai Kia's own version of the V6 engine. With a smaller working volume than Mitsubishi, its power is higher. First of all, due to the appearance of phase regulators. The motor is completely different, with a timing chain more tightly packed with cast iron sleeves in the aluminum block with plastic cylinder head covers and inlet and part of the body collectors individual coils. Modern but low resource. The 3.8-liter J6DA engine is similar in all respects to the 3.3-liter engine, but has a different crankshaft and a longer piston stroke. Diesel engines are here. Many experts know the affinity of the design to the good old Mitsubishi 4D86 engines, but 2.5-liter D4CB engines have a completely different timing drive chain, their own cylinder head, their own power system, and by and large, apart from some layout solutions and dimensions, there are no common components. The engines turn out with quite interesting characteristics, but there are enough problems with them, especially when operating in Russian conditions. Let's start considering the engines in detail with diesel D4CB, which are much more common than all other engines. This motor is with an aluminum block with a timing chain drive. The injection pump and balancer shafts are also driven by chains. Injection, common rail. Of course, the engine is turbocharged and if on the 140 horsepower version the turbine is simple, then on the 170 horsepower version it is with the VGT, with variable geometry of the hot snail. Unfortunately, this motor has many weak points. The most serious problem is early wear of the crankshaft liners. There are several reasons for this. Firstly, the liners them themselves are not very successful, even new crankshafts have increased to run out. Secondly, the catalyst for the process is the rapid aging of the oil due to an increase in the volume of crankcase gases. We will return to this issue. And pressure loss in the balancer shaft liners. Thirdly, the situation is often aggravated by an attempt to move at minimum spe speed with a heavy load. A 5-speed automatic transmission allows this mode, and with a manual transmission the situation is even worse. Many deliberately move along the highway at idle in fifth gear. Low viscosity oils, as you understand, are contraindicated for the motor. And although SAE30 for a relatively cold engine is not bad in the cool season, in the summer it is not necessary to drive oil with this viscosity. You need to change the oil as often as possible and if its base is not too resistant, with an interval of less than 10,000. The situation is complicated by two important details. The first is the low quality of the original air butts, but they can be replaced with good end locks. The second, sharpening the crankshaft will not work here. The hardening of the necks is very thin and minus 0.25 boring is already very likely to drastically reduce the surface hardness. Handicraft night riding and high frequency current hardening solved the problem, but so that there were no surprises. It is better to compare the hardness of the necks after granny. For this reason, the community of owners of these motors highly recommends simply changing the crankshafts. It turns out expensive but relatively effective, as open in the balance shaft drive chain can lead to an open timing chain and a simultaneous failure of the old pump, which is driven by the same chain. Everything is complicated by the fact that for some reason the balancer shaft bushings are not in the surrender catalog. However, they are in the catalog for Kia Bungo under the numbers 21, 2, 42, 4A, 0, 20 and 21 24 1 4 a 0 20 and a ridiculous price of 150 200 rubles the shafts themselves are also not expensive but they hardly wear out the main problems of the cylinder head are associated with nozzles and their seals copper sealing washers sag over time and the nozzle becomes overgrown with a layer of soot compression decreases in the cylinder and a lot of gases under pressure enter the crankcase of the engine creating the preconditions for breakdowns in the crankcase ventilation system, blowing oil into the intake, pollution of the turbine and similar problems. In addition to copper washers, there are several other causes of these problems. For example, a large clearance of the nozzle well, its weak and unsuccessful fastening, pitting corrosion of the cylinder head and the nozzle installation site. In addition, errors are possible during installation, which are often too lazy to clean the well with milling cutter or at least clean it thoroughly do not install the conical washer of the fastening bolt and install old nozzle sealing washers. The situation is complicated by a weak thread in the cylinder head for the motoring bolt and the poor quality of the bolt itself. All this leads to a breakthrough of gases into the crankcase, rapid burnout of the nozzle spray, cocking of the nozzle and overheating of the cylinder head in the area of its installation. In addition, the timing mechanism inherited several extremely unfortunate features from Mitsubishi diesel engines. 
rocker failures at high speeds and weak hydraulic lifters, while seats with frequent use at low speeds lose their shape. The metal is weak and the rotation of the valve is very poor. Before installing diesel spark equipped with Garrett 1752 LS turbines and restyled engines with 170 horsepower put BW KKK BW43 variable geometry. In both cases, the turbine control is vacuum and requires regular monitoring. The membrane resource is small. As the second turbine, after 150 to 100,000 mileage, you need to check the condition of the geometry and the presence of backlash. And at Jared, in addition to backlash, surprises with cracking on the hot snail are possible. In any case, if there are signs of a drop in oil pressure or if the replacement interval is missed, the turbine is one of the first candidates for departure. Even liners are handed over later. In addition to problems with the mechanics of motors, there are problems with the power system. As our EGR valve is not a problem, the entire system is removed without much damage to the motor. But the lack of control of nozzle leaks often leads to cracking of the pistons. By the way, when oil leaks through a turbine or rings, the effect is often the same. There is no emergency throttle on cars before restyling, and it usually doesn't work on restyling either. This completes the list of major problems. It is clear that with all the desire, the motor has very little chance of surviving to old age. The pluses include a good resource of the piston group and a reliable and inexpensive high-pressure fuel pump. The original one cost about 60,000, the analog cost about 30. By the way, nozzles cost 15,000 each and are well restored. Kits for their repair cost about 2,050 rubles. And although theoretically repairing the motor turns out to be inexpensive, after 200,000 many try to get rid of it. However, you can get for its repair even with less mileage. Among the gasoline engines, two old-school engines of 3.5 and 2.4 liters stand out. The 2.4 liter engine is rather weak for a heavy car, but it will be enough for calm drivers. It has quite enough pluses. It is more or less economical, very simple and cheap in design. And if the timing belt and the balance shaft belt do not fail, then it will also please with the resource. Well, what about the disadvantages? Unfortunately, the quality of motors is not always stable. Sometimes with runs of less than 200,000, cylinder liners wear out a lot. Sometimes this happens due to difficult operation conditions. The motor really doesn't like high temperatures and its rings quickly coke. Hydraulic lifters all often catch dirt or simply wear out. The 3.5 liter engine is certainly not weak. There are not very many forces in it, less than 200, but it develops a moment of 300 nanometers in a wide range. It has the same delicate hydraulic lifters, inconvenient replacement of candles, and in addition, high sensitivity to the quality of the ignition system and relatively high oil consumption. The motor eats up well through the crankcase ventilation system, covers and seals are leaking a little. The timing drive here is belt driven, but extremely reliable, and the control says simple as scissors. Only the timing gear belt is strongly recommended to be changed every time the belt is replaced. It is weak and the load on the dry pulley of additional units is large. So only a new part, the correct light, thread lock and tightening strictly according to the regulations. In the Kia production version there were sometimes complaints about the life of the crankshaft liners, but usually this is due either to erroneous use of low viscosity SEA 30 oils on runs over 150,000 or very high mileage with oils of SAE 40 viscosity or even higher but with overheated and old oil. If there are reason appetite for oil, the resource of catalyst in the engine is often limited to 250,000, but they almost do not dust into the cylinders. In service, the engine is not as cheap as a 2.4 liter, but almost all spare parts are also suitable from 6G74. In general, this engine is an excellent example of the old Japanese school. Reliable, high torque, inexpensive to maintain, but very voracious. The 3.3 and 3.8 liter Lambda family engines are newer, more powerful, lighter and more dynamic. But this is where all the flattening epithets end. More modern motors turn out to be very, very problematic and at the same time extremely expensive, even with an average repair. There are many weak points here, starting with an expensive timing chain with the resource open no more than 100,000 km, rather weak crankshaft liners, leaks of plastic covers and breakdowns of the plastic intake. But the main problem is the resource of the piston group. Already closer to 200,000 mileage, the gap is very significant. There is a strong oil appetite. What is the reason is not entirely clear. Maybe a catalyst that dies with frequent cold starts and dusts into the cylinders as it ages. Here it is made in the form of a collector and greatly harms the piston. Or maybe weak metal and an unsuccessful design of the piston group. 
be that as it may, the, the repair of these motors is almost always complex, expensive and complex. And contract units cost a lot, but they do not differ in quality and residual resource. Removing the catalyst while the engine is relatively alive doesn't always help, and spas means with runs over 300,000 without major repairs are extremely rare. Against the background of these problems, it is not even worth discussing the short resource of phase drifters, valves and choke failures. In general, up to a run of 100 and a half, the motor didn't particularly reach the owners. And in the USA, it is considered a relatively decent motor that can travel 200,000 miles without major repairs. Maybe it's our climate, dust or fuel. Or in the type of load. We have 140 miles a day on a cruise, no one passes. An additional minus of the motor is the load from it on the automatic transmission. Boxes with it live much less than with colder diesel engines and engines of old families. This motor was installed in almost the same configuration on the Hyundai Sonata Grandia. There, the load on it is lower and the resource is almost one and a half times higher. This means that the chances of buying a live specimen for replacement increase. True, the entire intake, cylinder head covers, front timing cover and crankcase will have to be changed, but this is the most practical way out of the situation when the 3.3 liter engine suddenly died and there was no money for serious repairs. This completed the information about the problems of the Kia Surrender. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.